Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Outward. Well, uh, if anything, uh, as the last episode left off, uh, we were kind of uh, uh, running a wall around among the ghost paths and so on and so forth. So, uh, why am I back here alone, you may ask? Well, uh, in truth, uh, we made it back and everything, but... Uh, well, we, we ran to quite a bit of uh, our turmoil. All right, I'm going to Ghost Pass. Because this looks like the only entrance to go across the border of some sort. All right, let's prepare for the worst. Crouch. I'm just kidding. We don't really need the crouch all the way. What's over here? You shit. Oh, that's dark. It's just interact. No, no, I'm not going to interact right away. If I do both, yeah, there's no monster, so. Oh, uh, I guess I don't need crawl. Oh, that's why. All right, let's walk around. Oh, there's a ghost thing over here. I see him across the hallway. You want to take him on? You can shoot him to lower him. Hold on. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, we ain't doing this. We kind of have to at this point. Holy shit. He wants me. Yeah, he does. Wonder if I could lay a trap right now. Alright, hello. Oh, shoot. <laughs> His reach is farther than I thought it would be. Yeah, only reason why I survived as long as I did was because of my shield. <laughs> Ooh, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. That's a one-time use, though. Oh, shoot. Nope. He, uh... I don't want to die another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm good. We can't really leave. Should we just rush through the dungeon and not fight them at all? What do you think? Because we, we can't even go out there. Like, there's no loophole. Nothing. So. Alright, let's just go down the yeah, thing. No, uh, I, let's go over here. Nope. Oh, oh, interaction. Oh, snap. This room. Treasure room. Stein! Stein! Oh, I'm almost dead. Uh, okay. He is now after me. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, let me interact with this thing over here. Can we open this? Oh, cannot, Stein. Be, cannot be open from here. Shit. Can that be opened? Hold on, hold on, let me hit this. Fuck! I got stuck in the doorway. Uh, shoot. Oh uh, no, you trapped me in here. Whenever you uh, hit that lever or something, you trapped me in here. <laughs> well, <laughs> <like you're> fuck! <laughs> no! I, I refuse, I just wanna sir. go. I, I just want to leave. I trapped you and leave. died, man. There's nowhere for you to go. I can't open it back up. I'm dead. I might as well die. I'm over here like, well. It's whatever. We got our stuff back. Yeah, I know. Oh, shoot. Was that the right way? Yeah, that was the right way. All right. Oh no, it was not. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the lever thing. Oh! oh! I I I want to apologize. Oh, he is after you. While you do that, I'm gonna keep looking around quick. 
I got it. And yep, that's what happened. So uh, I'm back here with this episode here. Uh, so uh, right now, basically what happened was, well, uh, Hollow got uh, pulled off uh, to play other games and everything like that. So he's pretty busy himself. So I've been actually grinding a little bit off uh, camera here. So uh, just so um, we, I can get more gist and uh, I can get more stuff for us in general so when we can resume our play and everything but uh in the meantime i think i'm gonna do some sidelines stories and uh go from there really because in the main story quest if i go into uh over right here the most main storyline is to go to the Mark forest or the hollow marsh or you know the desert to join a faction and um i barely know anything about them at all in truth so I wonder if I have to travel there or it's one of those things where you have to look it up to figure out uh, which faction you want to join. So I think I'm going to go with the safer route and uh, pick one off of uh, which one I want to join. And I'll explain which faction and so on and so forth has, you know, different um, purpose where so on and so forth. Oh, we kill people kind of like, I don't know. But in the meantime, I can definitely do uh, side quests here. Like, oh, it says, oh, you can craft piece of blue armor, require acquire mana, uh, crystal powder. Um, I have no idea how to get all that anyway. So I'm about to figure that out when anything resolves around crystal. I'm pretty sure it's like a crystal getting crushed. I mean, one plus one. You know, kind of love it. Just makes sense, logically, or logistically. <laughs> okay. So, and then this one says, "Talk to owner, bird delivery." Okay, so I could do all of these, but from the looks of it, these the craft blue armor and the crystal potter might be the easiest one to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can acquire at least these things. So blue sand. So I'm gonna find a beach area. Go from there, really. Um, I've have had my encounter with the blue sands and everything already. Um, I actually have enough resource here uh, already in my inventory, believe it or not. This is the chest at home. I paid off my debt of 150 already. So I'm pretty much in good standing right now for price wise. But I made quite a fair amount of money. I've gathered quite a fair amount of everything. But overall, I'm still uh, at the start. <laughs> Uh, pretty much just grinding this entire area, going back to the Ghost Pass, uh, and doing my work. As you can see, this is the prayer claymore that you acquire from it. Uh, I've acquired other things, killing just simple things that wouldn't progress the storyline too far, per se. Uh, just mostly side stuff and collecting until Hollow gets back or so. I'm, that or I'm just going to do a solo fly, depending on how it is. But... One way or another, um, I'm pretty much set to uh, gain, uh, I think, mana, crystal, powder. Well, let's try. Okay. So, you know, I tried to use one earlier. It didn't work. So, I'm going to try four here, to be honest. So, let's go back into crafting station. Oh, oh yeah. That's right. I'm going to need a crafting table. I mean, alchemy table, break that down. Because I couldn't break it down that way, so I'm gonna try to break it down this way instead. So, go ahead and light that up. And then, we're gonna set this machine right on top. The alchemy machine. Okay, let's try this again. There it goes. Alright, good. Crystal powder, perfect. All right. Now that we have the crystal powder, I'm gonna disassemble this and turn off. You know, because uh, safety hazard in house. I don't understand. Like, why can't I just put the alchemy table like out here, with the uh, or or like in the kitchen or something? I don't know. Instead of having a fire indoor 
to actually activate it, but you know, logic in the game, so either way is I'm just gonna flow with it. Alright, since I got the crystal powder here, I'm gonna see I'm gonna go ahead and turn it in that side quest. Uh who do I turn it into? Okay. Uh Helmi or Humili. And the ARs are still pretty much behaving the same. Like, I think this girl has been sitting here ever since day one. I'm like, doesn't your butt hurt? Ah, well. Either ways. Alright, this is Hamile, the alchemist. Hey there. I got your here. thing. This oh. is yours. Ooh. It's quite a bit. Appreciate it. Uh, quite a lot of things here. Temper increase your fire damage. Did she give me anything else? Oh, potions and everything. I appreciate it. Was that it? Oh, I guess that's it. Oh, I'm overweight. On this, huh? Okay. Let me put... I should put away my money, huh? <laughs> Instead of carrying so much money on me, I should just put it away. So I also learned how to use, like, traps and so on and so forth. Uh, activating skill sets and everything. Uh, upgrade my shield this right here is actually just a, what they call a fang shield which you get from literally killing hyenas that uh in the pre prior episode you kill them they drop their bone stuff and you take the bone stuff and you get the recipe and literally just add that to a shield literally that's it i'm like okay simple made easy so overall uh today we accomplished one thing already the powder mission but uh, let's the blue armor stuff. What could I do for you? If I think, um, you talk to the blacksmith. He Here's says three, five, two. So basically, uh, ten sand and two, four. Okay, eight, eight fifty silver is what you need. So I have enough for every single one of it. But the real question is, do I need all of it and everything? Let's see. You can craft pieces of if blue sand is brought to him. Okay, can I just bring him the cheapest one? Because I really don't want heavy armor. Because I feel like every time I wear heavy armor, it's going to weigh me down or something. Um, but other than that, uh, it is quite taxing to carry around like heavy armor. So, it's not the greatest idea. But, you know what, I'm going to see if making one piece of the blue armor thing is worth it. So Blue sand, so I'm going to take four with me only. Then I'm going to take 200, I mean 100. Alright, addition to what I really already have, so. <coughs> Alright, let's give it a go. What can I do for so, you? So, right. let's see if we can just craft one item what here. What can I do for you? Here's what I need. I want the cheapest one. Uh, just the boots. How about that? Well, bye. Oh, okay. So it does complete the mission. So, just really, literally, just a piece. So it's not bad at all. So, uh, oh wait, wait, twenty-four hour for the armor. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I gave him my money. What if he actually just walks off with my money or something? Like, <laughs> he closes the shop, he disappears. I'll be like, wait, I just paid this dude. I got ripped off or something. And I just did 24 hour. There. <laughs> 24 hours. Sleep for 24 hours. Problem solved. Way to skip time in the game, really. My dude just wake up so like hungry. Oh, there we go. Craft blue sandstone has been updated. Okay, let's take a look. What does it tell me to do? Okay. Return to collect your armor piece. Ah, okay, cool. Let's go. And with the bird head here, actually, I'm moving at 15%. 15% faster speed, so it actually saves me time, so I don't have to take that extra 10 steps or so, you know. 
All right. What can I do for you? I'm here to luck collect. All right. All right. All right. He didn't walk off my money. Appreciate it. All right. Let's take a look. I got my armor piece. Uh. All right. That side mission is done. Perfect. I don't have to worry about it ever again. Okay. So negative four percent movement speed, protection, resistance. Oh wow. That is. This thing is very resistant towards magic. Actually, does it look pretty good? Ooh, those are fancy though. Ah, I might want the full set. You look dank, but it makes me slower. I don't know. Maybe I get the armor piece because it's only by 4% really. And my current bird helmet actually allows me to run just as fast. So I think my setup really, to be honest, is get the armor piece. Uh, but don't put on the helmet piece, you know, so I can still move as fast so I won't get the negative uh, stat bonuses. So I'm, a, I'm just kind of disappointed that it takes so long. But I guess in reality, yeah, it, it would take longer than legit than one day to actually do this kind of project. Especially with the material given. Yeah, I don't remember if it was five and five that one actually. I'll just take, what, 500? I'm just like, take off now Oh, Lord. So we're going to do the same thing. Go back to bed. Uh, we'll see ya. After the long process and everything, what we're just gonna I collect our All right. piece of armor here. Ooh, looks so good. Let's see. pop it up. Oh my god, beautiful! All right, okay, that that might have been worth it here. Oh what? Why am I am I too heavy? Oh, I guess I am. Uh, oh wow, that decreases my weight for carry on that by so much okay it's okay i can live with that um the one water skin there i usually like to carry two that's why and then put these potions discipline negative effect mm. all right there there and I like to carry these things on me actually because I lay my trap downs as uh, my quick key here so I lay trap down start running kind of level oh okay what do I want to sacrifice here two of these one of these still not enough all right just take two there problem solved in a lot of it at all so that's why i got really excited i'm like 400 gold i mean uh, yeah how uh, far not 100 gold 100 silver <laughs> be my guess but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put everything away and uh you know uh do what i can there So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just go back and uh, usually they might have different loot spawns, but I don't know exactly the ratio of each loot spawn. And these bodies over here, <laughs> they still take days to decay. So there's that issue there. So I have to wait for those. Oh, another spice beetle. That's what I want. So I can make more spice tea. So it warms up for the winter. As you already can see, my temperature on the left side on the uh, bar over there is already dropping hard. So I gotta be careful with winter. 
There's that one torch I dropped, and it's still not decayed yet, so I'm like, interesting. Maybe it just takes a long time in this game world, per se. So, chests do respawn once after a while. Uh, from my understanding, like, after every seven days in-game time, they resupply everything. So, uh, I've been making most of my money actually off just killing bandits, raiding things, to be honest, and selling the loots. So, uh, that's how I was able to acquire the amount of gears and money I had. Selling the monostone uh, over there, once you go over there, at the center of the map here, pretty much you can gather all the mana stuff there to get mana stone there every so often, I think every day, to be honest, to get some more money. Uh, and I've been selling some of those. The, I've been fortunate enough to get some what they call like some hacksaw or so. That's uh, pretty good and all, but... Um, I, hack might, you, you can use hack might to make mostly like uh, uh, wizard gears. I'm not really much... I've never been much of a wizard fella, but I mean, if I have to use magic to kill a boss or something, I'll do it. Not, not yours might go to, really. I'm not really collecting these for very, except for... Uh, um, the beetles, really. There's used to be quite a bit of sin. So that right there is a mantis claw. That one thing that literally scared the living crisis out of uh, Hollow Me. But you know what? Uh, eventually, I got the hang of the battle system. This thing shoots two fireballs and then does like a melee AOE hit. But I was able to take it out because I was like, okay, let me just error, try and error, and I actually killed it. So I'm like, okay. But not much that I know of really around this entire world. Um, I barely gone too far at all. Just mostly gathering and grinding off camera, really. So let's see if I can get lucky here. Uh, I also want to make sure. Uh, Okay I, got, okay, I got some fire protection. Cold resist and everything. Once I go in here, hopefully. I'm getting pretty cold, so. Let's see if I can just drop my campfire here. I don't really advise this. Uh, crouching is one of your best uh, friend here. Basically, so I'm gonna drop my loot pack and I'm gonna see if I can kill a majority of them before I start looting and everything, to be honest. So I'm just gonna warm up and then go from there. Alright, he's coming towards me. I'm gonna stay towards the fire so I don't freeze to death. Alright, let's go. And I also learned how to properly use the target system now instead too. Easy. So I said I'm not gonna loot them until I get my backpack back really. Uh, just gonna check out some small fries at a time really. Go from there. There's that one line thing. Stocking around here somewhere. Huh. I want to get rid of it first. Oh, there it is. There you are. Armor Lion. Alright, let's go, boy. It's stunned, so we just take it down pretty much from there. Alright, so uh, most of the stuff here has become very relatively easy to kill. Oh. As I say that. Alright, I don't want to burn my stamina right away. Uh, I'm gonna run away quick, regain my stamina first, and then fight them again. Uh, 
All right. I'm going to heal up with two. Bandage myself up here. Save by the fire to warm up. I'm going to go stare next to the bigger fire here. And put some traps over here. There we go. And put it relatively close so they get stunned, they get hit by more of it, basically. Kind of like uh, consecutive hits. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to run into your own trap, so beware. Be careful. All right. I think four should be good in here. I don't want to burn. Well, the, the good thing is you can collect your resource. Back up again. Uh, I think I want to do one more heal just in case. Since my health is still available there. Alright. I know that there's two archers up there, but I I don't really need to kill them for loot, really. Don't we'll really drop good loot. Oh, two more traps. The boots are only good, really. What I'm taking it right now is I can craft band-aid with it really just break it down craft some get some clothes I was trying to figure that out early, um, in the prior video, but I figured that out a little late You know, what I mean so I'm like, okay, that's how you do it uh, Let me go around here see if there's anything in this house I can take Oh, there it is Junk pile I can take all these actually Break it down to also like two pickaxe and uh, that decreased it. Everything, uh, I'm gonna eat the jerky for beneficial value. Really, see right there that plus it raises my health back up, so that's what I'm eating right now. Doesn't give me a fortification, but you know what? Oh. Nice block. You don't want to block usually all that, but you know what? Uh, you usually want to. Oh, I used that skill for it by accident. But uh, you want to block enough and then run away. Actually, it's a run and hit tactic mostly. Kind of like how you're in real life. You don't want to just stand there and get bombarded the whole time. That'd be a horrible idea. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take on this mage here. I'm going to lower her this way. Actually, it's probably better to fight it with the bow. Oh, I don't have a bow with me. Oh, well. I want to lower her away from the cold. So, that's why. I want to stay warm because cold is the element is actually worse. Oh, there's that one guy right there. He's seen me. All right, I see him. He's he's on his way to come fight me. He's gonna get hit by all three of those traps. Let's go, boy. Let's go, big boy. I'm gonna actually buff my weapon. Let's go. Just like that. And that's what, that's how easy it is, literally, as long as you know what you're doing. Oh, no, I got cold. See, that's why you want to stay away from cold, really. You want to stay warm, warm as possible. I'm going to go back to my bag and drink some of the medication I have it in there. Woo! I know I should be going to kill that one person, so I'm going to go ahead and just go over there, and I'll loot later. Uh, 
I'll eat this. And I'll even, well, whatchamacallit, eat one of the bugs to fortify my cold. And then drink smoothing tea. There we go, for the cold. Let it recede. Okay. All right. Now, I, since I still got the ice ball for a little bit, I'm going to take advantage of it. Drop my bag off right here. She's stunned. There. Just like that. I'm injured, but it's okay. Okay. Cool. I use most of my ice magic stuff on my sword, so I benefited from it. More than lose. It's a slow down movement. Oh, it's only for a little bit. Okay. Back to normal. Alright, now I can start looting. Take that from you, sir. Thank you very much. You got a key for me and a tiny aquarium. Oh, you are too kind. What is this? Bread of the wild. Special. Oh. An increase in stealth. Oh. oh. All right. Wow, I literally have to be next to the fire. Jesus. Okay, looks like I have 47 room left. Uh, huh. Alright, I don't need these berries. Fortification key. Now, I really don't want to loot uh, unnecessary junk. So, we'll do what we can here. I have some most. This thing's going to last a long while, so I'm just not going to eat it for now. All right, good fighting. Not really. It was it was more a massacre. Massacre. Cold stone, mana stone, whatever. I remember there was nothing good over here either. So we could take her mace and sell it, but it's just extra weight at this point. Because up here there's still a chest that I can go into. All right, let's see all my hard work was for. Bam. Uh, not a good turnover, but you know what? I'll take what I can. I'll take it all for now. The other guys might not even have anything good, so this might be a bigger haul than looting all the other guys. I'm over right now. I know. I don't know, but we got to book it got no time to uh, look at our inventory and everything so this is I just have two of the other insect but you, it's a win-win in my book all right oh wait I need a cooking pot that's what I need <laughs> bam how to survive in the wild 101 <laughs> Turn my tea. That's where I carry two waters with me. Not gonna lie. So I can craft more of that drink right here to keep me warm. I'm still pretty much overweight by one pound, but it's okay. One pound I can still run. Let's see what he has. I'll take that, but. Oh, poison. Take that. Usually you don't wanna. Only, the weapons are good to take, but I'm already, I am already have good enough weapons here. I gotta not carry as much on me, huh? <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'll eat these for now. I don't know how much... Okay, I'm still overweight, but I took away one pound already, so I should still be able to run. At a relatively good pace, that is. There's berries. I think. Oh yeah, I gotta check this guy. 
He has a trap. I'll take the trap though. All right, I'm back to where I am for traps. All right, I'm just gonna warm up a little more over my own fire, and then I head back. So that was a successful raid per se. So other than that, um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it here for now, guys. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on grinding off camera and so forth. But in the meantime, next time around, we're gonna go straight to um, either acquiring mana or uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can go to Berg, which I have no idea where is Berg, but you know what? Heck with it.